everyone. Uh, you are listening and watching to a very special podcast. This is Phenomenon Serendipity, and this is The Origins. So, the tragedies that were based off things that I saw on TV in real life, it really was very much of a shock, and I was really inspired, so I was like, okay, what the heck. And also, I just... I wanted to also add some nightmare fuel to it, and by nightmare fuel, I mean I wanted to add some creepy elements, not not like anything like sick or anything, but just like maybe something creepy. I was tempted to put the, vi the psychological horror game Fear into my crossover, but then I'm like, wait, this is a little bit too dark and too scary, so I'm like... Okay, th there are some things I have to change. I was originally going to do it on a creepy girl. Like, I wanted a creepy girl villain to see what it was like. But then I was like, uh, no, I can't. <laughs> I just couldn't. I really, really, really couldn't. So then I go, okay, here's what... I'm going to do, maybe I can try to create some creepy girls, and create something, and I listened to the song Wonderland by Natalia Kills, she's actually a um, British American young lady, she had some pretty good music even though people never heard of her, and if some people did listen to her music, they would describe her as a dark version of, um, of Lady Gaga, but she says, oh, I'm nothing like her. <laughs> anyway, um, so I decided after I heard the song Wonderland, I decided to, like, make some creepy girl villains based off the whole, oh, Snow White and Little Red Riding Hood, Cinderella, Rapunzel, and Sleeping Beauty. So I decided to create some names, and I chose Felissa... I chose Maggie, I chose, I, I couldn't remember the one for, um, Cinderella, but I bet it must have been Ashley, because Cinderella and Ashley are the same, because Cinder in Cinderella actually is another word for, like, cinders, and also Ashley, which means ash meadow, or ash fields, um, they were like almost the same because cinders is another way of saying ashes and ashes is like cinders. Anyway, I don't want to cause any confusion. Um, for Rapunzel, I decided um, Sadie Towers. So I was like, okay, Sadie Towers. Like, how am I going to make this work? And I wanted to create a background story. So, um, for Valissa, I came up with the idea where she's struggling with a disorder that involves with her drinking blood or any raw meat, and then she becomes almost vampiric. And for Maggie, I was actually inspired from this movie trailer I saw called Cherry Bomb. And it was an indie flick, and it was about, um, uh, there were, there were two different movies that had the same name, but with different stories. Like, um, one of them was an indie flick about a stripper who was attacked by five men, and now she's out to get her revenge. So I got the idea of that, but I wanted to tone it down because I didn't want to mention too many, um, references to the whole sexuality and stuff. For Sadie Towers was kind of inspired by Christina Crawford, who is the daughter of uh, Joan Crawford. And I created this kind of based off Christina Crawford and also um, Vivian Lee. I was desperate to like create something dark and my crossover originally was dark, and it was, wow, I couldn't believe I actually wrote something like that. Um, anyway, 
So after I did a bit of research and I watched a documentary on YouTube about Vivian Lee, and all of a sudden, like after I heard what happened of how she got bipolar, after the miscarriage of her baby, like her second child, while she was doing the movie of Cleopatra, Queen of Egypt, it was um, really shocking, and I decided to create a story where um, Sadie Towers was just basically a violent, spoiled young lady with a dark secret where she had been abused and and also put down by her mother who suffered from alcohol and also having a mood disorder kind of similar to bipolar. And in the story, like, Barrera Devlin, like, I had to come up with a name for her. And, um, I came up with Barrera Devlin. And in the story, like, Barrera and Mia and the rest of the girls, including the anime characters like Ichigo and the rest, were helping the girls. Like, after defeating them, they eventually saw the girls were now vulnerable. And they realized their dark mistakes and their horrible lives. And then I created this one scene where Lucy, Lucy Hartphilia, summons out Lyra, and Lyra sings this song about struggle, trials, and tribulation, and all the girls that listen to it, like the dark, troubled girls like Sadie Towers and Maggie, all of a sudden when they hear that song, all of a sudden they think about their own lives. And then they began crying and they became good people. But Katrina, who originally was a villain in my original crossover making, wasn't too pleased. And she wanted to destroy everyone. And then she gets defeated. And after she's defeated, she's like, oh my god, what have I done? And yeah, I created this dark crossover. But when I realized how dark it was, I was like, okay, I'm going to have to try something else because this isn't working. So, but then I had other ideas in mind. And we're going to find out soon enough. So stay tuned for more. We're not done yet. And I hope you guys like it. See ya. Bye-bye.